Hi there, welcome to the channel. I'm Atova and welcome to this High Fleet tutorial video and advanced strategy guide. Now here's the contents for this video, links to each section will be in the description, but I just want to uh, state by strategy guide, I mean the strategy layer. Okay, so this is just for the map view. When you're on there, just a few strategies that I've used and hopefully you can try in your campaign to hopefully be more successful. Let's dive in. Now the first one is intercept courses. Knowing how to plot an intercept course is one of my favourite things about the game. Um, it involves a little bit of maths, although after the first few tries I've actually found a calculator on that and that does it a little bit faster than me, um, especially when you're trying to convert to kilometres and such. So I'll put the link in the description below if you want to use that. So right now I've got a trade uh, transport ship here and I'm just trying to guess where it'll be uh, in a certain amount of time so I'm just drawing a line out and I'll, ideally I'd like to intercept this with a lightning so what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line out along the bearing now the line isn't great it's kind of a rough bearing um, so you've kind of just got to eyeball it a little bit and hopefully you get it right uh, I've put my distance in and my speed and then I have got a little calculator that works out so links below and then once you've worked it out you can find out how long it will take for that transport to get there. So you can see I've got 150 kilometers, speed's 92. It's going to take one hour, 37 minutes to get to that point on my map. And I'm there, I'm in a good position here. So now I'm just working out how long it'll take my lightning to travel that distance. And all it takes is 0 0.4 hours, which is just around 24 minutes, I believe. So I fast forward the time a little bit. And then when it's around 24 minutes from intercept, I'll send my lightning out and hopefully I'll be able to pick this up. And there we go, pretty much exactly where I thought it'd be. So now I can send my interceptor in and take out the escort and get that prize ship. Now, fortunately for this tutorial, um, that transport did report my position, which was good because I wanted a strike group to come and intercept me or come looking for me. So I'm relocating my fleet a little bit. And I've just got an elite report saying it's in this direction, so I'm sending some aircraft out just to have a little scout, find out where this, um, this strike group is, and then what I'm going to try to do is intercept it with a couple of missiles. So aircraft are great for scouting as well. If you put them on a little formation like this, you can get a good visual range. And then pretty soon it picks up the contact there. Okay, and at that point, I just brought my planes back because I didn't want to intercept them with planes. So what I want to do next is I'm going to use that up-to-date um, contact. And I'm going to use it to draw 300 kilometers away because that's what I want to be my intercept point. I know its speed is 102, and then I did it the lazy way and used my online calculator to work this out, and I figured at that point it would take around three hours to get to there. So with that information now, I can start thinking about how long it's going to take um, maybe some of my ships, maybe some missiles to get to that point. Also make a note of the time. Um, sometimes it's a good idea to write it down on one of them points. I think every time you plant a point as well, it'll tell you tell you how long it's been since that since you wrote down that point i'll also put in the description a link to a game pretty article a high fleet tactical missile guide and it tells you the speed of all the missiles so i looked on there and the kh 15p is 900 so i'm just putting that in there for reference and then the next step is to measure out the distance to that intercept point so it's around 410 kilometers to get to there so then I'm going to use my lovely calculator to figure how long it would take my missile to get to that point and I find out it would take 27 minutes to get to there so now you want to look at your clock and you just want to do a little bit of working out so it's going to take three hours for that strike force uh, strike group to get to there it takes 27 minutes for my missile to travel the distance to intercept it 
So I want to launch my missiles around half an hour um, before it's due to arrive at that point. So I'm just going to fast forward the clock here a little bit now. And then when we arrive at that time, I'm going to launch my missiles in that direction. I'm going to launch them. A I'm going to do the cursor a little bit early so it activates a little bit early. And then hopefully it'll detect our, their radar and home in on them. So look at that. It pretty much went straight to the three hour point. Missile going in. How do we get on with the second one? And just scores a hit. Brilliant. So that first tip was a little bit lengthy, but I just wanted to show you how to do an intercept if you're unsure. Um, again, you don't have to be great at maths. I'm not, which is why I'm lazy and use a calculator, but hopefully that helps you. And the other good thing is as well, if you can intercept them on their path, it means you don't have to chase them and you don't have to use any fuel up. Okay, tip number two, sensors are your best friends. Um, I would certainly spend some time learning how E-Link works, learning how your radar works, and learning how your infrared works, because all of them can be really useful. If you are looking to find where a strike group is, well, your e can detect them from 1,500 um, kilometers away. So when that first one light lights up, that first segment lights up, you'll see a bearing flash. It means it's detected an enemy radar from around 1500 meters and then the way i play it is after that it, the next segment is like 1250 and then 1000 750 500 um sometimes i've seen that change so i'm not sure if there's a mechanic in there with how powerful the radar is but that's just kind of my rough estimate of how it works you've also got your infrared on the bottom left so that only works when it's really close so you can kind of stalk trade routes that way so if you're waiting for a transport to leave you can kind of position yourself along a trade route and just wait there and then see if anything's picked up on your infrared okay and then your own radar just i mainly run with it off but if you do detect something on Elin, turn it off because they've detected you as well so just you know i think that's a useful tip sensors are your best friend it's worth taking the time to know your equipment so i've called this one aircraft strikes can save you but really aircraft are just really useful regardless so aircraft strikes can save you if you need to take on a garrison and you, you want to take some up before you get there you might be damaged you might not have full confidence that you can take them send some aircraft in with bombs rockets and you can kind of lighten the load for when you want to attack. I did this in my Let's Play, and it was just so useful um, to just have aircraft take a lot of stuff out before I even got there. Um, another use is the recon. Get airplanes out, they're fast moving, and they can see what's out there for you. So I used it here earlier when I was trying to get some footage for this um, for this tutorial, and I was using them just to spot strike groups, and I was quite surprised that when I did spot them, they, they can't really do anything, they don't know your position and they're not going to report the position of the air, aircraft so really really useful to have so tip number 4 evasion tactics, now I've been asked about this one to see if I've got any um, tips on not being found on the main map, um, the best one I've found is just to land You know, if the, if the enemy is in like maybe 3 segments filled on Elint um, land your ship down and I they barely catch me <laughs> um, sometimes they do and, and I'm not quite sure why but I've had a lot of success from if someone if something's coming towards you and the segments are filling up the best thing to do is just get out of the way stay off the trade routes um, and land and then just hold tight there you're not using fuel you're not really in a rush for anything and then you can just watch them skip past you um, just don't turn your radar on so yeah I, I should really call this evasion tactic because that's the one I use um, I'm looking forward to um, anyone leaving stuff in the comments I'm really interested to know to see if you've got any other evasion tactics that you use if you have um, let us know in the comments just so I can see them and see what other people do on the strategy map to um, to evade strike groups and other things um, my next tip isn't related to uh, what's on the screen 
but I hear this a lot from people in Discord and Steam, and I've seen people do it on YouTube, and I, I, I never did it at all in my first playthrough, and I only use it a little bit now, but um, I know that I will need to use these more and more as you progress. Um, you need some multi-role detachments, you need to have kind of separate parts of your fleet to do separate jobs. There's one guy on Discord I talked to, and he's telling me about how he uses different um, detachments to triangulate using the Elint, which is a really clever way of doing it. So, I'm, I, unfortunately, I've got no footage of that. I just kind of want to make you aware of it, that these things are possible in the game, and it's a really good way to play. So, try to set, split your fleet up into places. Um, send a tanker out with some of your craft if, um, if you think they might be out a while and things like that. Um, so, just something to think about. Don't just think you have to have one fleet and just send a strike group out and then bring it back because that's how I played it. But now I'm a little bit more interested to play it a different way. Just a tip for you there. And now for the final tip, the Alan Turing method. Now when you get radio, radio transmissions, sometimes they can be decrypt, um, encrypted and you've got to decipher them. And the way to do this is by picking up uh, bits of the cipher from fallen ships. But I honestly got to the point where I was excited when I'd get a message and it was uh, all muddled up because then it gave me a chance to kind of use this method to try and spot words that might be in there, like words like north and root. And maybe there's some call signs you've recognised, um, like the one in this one I kind of realised at the end. Oh, I knew that one. Um, But it got kind of fun and it, it just kind of made the game a little bit more interesting when I was like, okay, I'm not going to pick up any ciphers. I'm just going to try and figure out like this. So start writing down words that you see often in radio transmissions. And then when you get one, if you haven't got any cipher keys, you can kind of dedicate a little bit of time to trying to figure it out. And it's just really rewarding when you actually find the message. Anyway, geeky tip there. And that's the end of that tutorial. I hope it's helpful. Um, apologies if there was any mistakes or anything like it's been a late night I've tried to get two videos done tonight both of the advanced combat and this one um, really appreciate your support please like and subscribe if, you, if these have helped you if you've got any tips yourself please put them in the um, in the comments below I want to know your evasion tactics do you have any um, tactics to escape strike groups or missile carriers or aircraft carriers what, what do you guys do just tell me put them in the comments and I'll get back to you. Thanks a lot. Bye.